Hi guys, welcome back to my channel at home with Kayla. It has been a little while since I posted a video and I actually want to like share a few things with you guys today. So, um, I'm going to do a bracelet review on some new bracelets I got. I am going to show you a few things that I picked up recently from Target. So like a mini Target haul. And that also includes some things that I got my kids for Valentine's Day since Valentine's Day is coming up in just a couple of days. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and just you know, share some new things with you guys. Now, if you watch me over on my couponing channel, you know I'm all about saving money. So I also have a little discount code for you guys if you like the bracelets that I'm gonna show you in today's video because Otter Spirit contacted me and they wanted to give me a code that I could give my followers. And I was like, you know what? I was like, I feel like this is perfect to show on my home channel when I'm already going to show you guys like some stuff that I got recently. So I'm gonna open these bracelets with you guys. I know which ones I picked out, but I haven't seen them in person yet. So the first thing that caught my eye when I opened the package is obviously the little boxes they come in. I love stuff that just comes in a cute, neat little package. So it says Otter Spirit right there on the box. I got three bracelets, so I'm excited to show you guys and look at them in person together. Now, if you're not familiar with Otter Spirit, I'm also new. This is the first time that I've ever gotten bracelets from them, but if you watch my videos, you may notice that I always have on a bracelet of some sort. I've just always wore bracelets, especially like middle school and high school. <laughs> I used to have tons of bracelets on all the time. So, um, Otter Spirit, they are about saving sea otters. So if you haven't heard of them, every bracelet you purchase donates $1 towards saving sea otters. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and they have authentic gemstones. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Uh, we're going to open this up. Look, it's got the honor on the pouch that's so cute anyway so it's got a cute little pouch let's see which one this is okay so I ordered this one because I like the color but um it is called rhodonite I think I said that right and it's kind of like a pink color let me show you guys up close if you can see that and do you see how it has like the little sea otter on it like how cute I don't know if I'm showing that well enough like it's got a little sea otter on it. So cute. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on see how it fits. Okay, so I got a size small and I got the regular size gemstones, but they do have small gemstones if you'd rather get a smaller one. But that's what it looks like on me. I have very small wrists, so this actually fits me very nicely because they do have other sizes that you can get. I like how when you're picking out your bracelets, you can look at the meaning and the spirituality of each one. So this Rhodonite one, it stands for love. It says, I am kind and passionate to myself and others. Rhodonite is the compassion and nurture, nurturing stone. So named after the Greek word rose, it soothes broken hearts and helps achieve emotional balance. It's gentle energy, helps releasing resentment, cultivating self-love and fostering harmony in relationships. It also tells the element of each one. So if you're into that, it's the earth and fire element. And it'll also tell you what zone Zodiac sign goes with each one. So if you like to keep up with all of that, you could get one that is specifically for your Zodiac sign. So I thought that was pretty cool as well, but I really like the color of this one. Super cute. So when I was picking mine out, I also was trying to go for ones that I could wear together that I thought would look pretty together. So let's see. Okay. This one's the Moonstone one. I can tell by looking at it. So let's put this one on. Let me show it to you up close. The moonstone is like a white, of course. So there's that. And see, like, I think that looks pretty together personally. So the moonstone bracelet stands for intuition. So it says, I'm guided by grace. The moonstone is the guiding light stone. It's ethereal energy enhances spiritual growth, feminine power, and emotional stability, making it a great ally for new beginnings. The element on this one is earth. And then for this one, if you want to know some of the zodiac signs, this one is Cancer, Libra, Virgo, and Scorpio. I am none of those, but I like the bracelet. So I went ahead and got that one because I liked what the Moonstone one stood for. Now my next bracelet, I'm excited to see this one in person because it's a little different than what I would normally choose choose, but I know that I chose the Sunstone bracelet for this one. So let's see what it looks like in person. Oh, I think this is pretty. It kind of is an orangish kind of color with a little bit of white in it. 
But again, I think that these are gonna look pretty together. Like, look at those colors together. Doesn't that just look pretty? I don't know. That In my mind, I was like, those colors are going to look pretty together. So, I'm kind of excited to wear these together. And I have the Moonstone and the Sunstone. Now, I will say the Sunstone, one of the zodiac signs that it stands for is the Aries, which I'm an Aries. Um, my birthday is April Fool's Day, April 1st. <laughs> so, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get one that goes for the Aries zodiac sign. So, the Sunstone bracelet stands for confidence. It says, I take inspired action every day to achieve my dreams. Sunstone is a positivity stone. That's another reason why I chose it because I feel like I'm very big on positivity. Um, it's warm and joyful energy brings forth abundance, vitality, and personal power. It also promotes self-expression, motivation, and encourage a positive mindset. So I really like that each bracelet has a specific meaning. And if you guys want to look at their bracelets, they have bracelets that range anywhere from $20 to $50 dollars but the retail value of the bracelets goes up to like eighty dollars i was looking through all the different ones so they have some really beautiful gemstone bracelets again they're authentic so if you're interested in ordering i'll have a link below in the description box you can use my link to order and you can use the code couponing with kayla 20 and that's going to save you 20 percent on your order so let me know if you order any gemstone bracelets i'm really really excited about mine so thank you so much to Otter Spirit for giving me that 20% off code and I hope that some of you guys can find a bracelet that you enjoy. All right, so I told you guys I wanna show you a couple of other things. So a couple of things that I got at Target the other day. Um, I got this really cute sweater, so I wanna show it to you. I know a model or anything, so I know the angle's not the greatest, but <laughs> I wanted to show you. So I got this really cute sweater. I'm gonna get a little closer up. I have it tucked into my jeans, and these jeans I actually got from Target like last year. But anyways, um, so this sweater is so cute. I'm wearing an extra small in it. But I just thought it was really, really cute. The sweater itself was $30, so not the cheapest ever, but I'm probably going to wear this thing a ton. So <laughs> anyways, I just wanted to show you that. I'm just wearing like a little tank top under it. So really simple but cute outfit. So if you are looking for a cute new sweater because it's springtime and it's still cold, um, definitely check out what they have at Target because I thought this was super cute. Another thing that I grabbed when I was at Target the other day because they had their books for buy one get one 50% off and it's going through February 14th. Um, so I've been wanting to get the rest of the books in a series that I'm reading. So right now I'm reading this series called Throne of Glass and I'm on like book three, I think. I'm trying to see. Or actually, I think I just started book four. I could be mistaken, so don't tell me anything. No spoilers. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so I got the ones that I didn't have yet because one of them I was listening to on an audio book um but I still wanted the physical book because I love having the physical books so anyways if you haven't heard of the series Throne of Glass it's really good so before I started this book series let me show you the series that I was reading so before I started reading the Throne of Glass series I started with A Court of Thorns and Roses and I have read all of the books in that series so far now, let me just say these book series, A Court of Thorns and Roses, as that series progresses, um, it does have quite a bit of spice in it. So if that is not your thing, that might not be the series for you. But I read that series first by Sarah J. Mass, and now I'm reading that Throne of Glass series. And like I said, um, I'm a few books into it. I have all of the books now, except for the very last one in that series. So let me know what are some book series that you really like. I would love to hear in the comments below. Below. Let me know if you've read this series. And there's another series after this. Um, I think it's called Crescent City. And there's like three books in it so far. So that's what I plan to read after I finish this series. But I was really excited to get some new books. So I wanted to show you that just in case you're looking for a new book series. And I have all the books in this series right now, except for the very last one. So there's one more in that series that I don't have yet. Um, but I actually uh, misspoke when I was talking about which book I'm on. I actually just started The Queen of Shadows. So that's what I'm on right now. So I've read everything up until like right here. And then like I said, there's one more in that series before I start the Crescent City series. But so that is what I'm reading right now. All right, guys, so now I wanna show you what I put in my kids' Valentine's baskets this year. So I'm using the same exact baskets that I used last year, as you can probably tell if you watched last year's video. These little baskets right here I actually got 
in the little gardening section at the Dollar Tree. So they only cost me, well, a dollar twenty-five each, but I'm reusing them, so I feel like I got my money's worth. If I remember correctly, I think that everything that I picked up, I picked up at Target, and it was all pretty decently priced. So let me show you. So first I got these little Kinder chocolates. I'm going to split them up and put a couple in each of their baskets. Um, for Axel, I feel like I have one less item in his basket. So I'm probably going to add one more small thing to his. So for Axel's basket, I got him this adorable little hedgehog. This was the most expensive thing that I put in either of their baskets because it cost like $9.99 at Target, but it was so cute. They had purple and pink ones. So I got him like the purplish blue one. And and then I got Chloe the pink one, which I'll show you up close in just a minute. But look how cute that is. They had these little dollar rubber duckies. And I thought this was so cute. It says, I love you very much. And Axel loves strawberries. So the strawberry one was just perfect for him. He loves Reese cups. So I got him the miniature Reese's. I got him these favorite day candies. It's the strawberry and cream indulgent trail mix. So he loves strawberries again. So I thought that, that was really good for him. Um, then I got the baby bottle pop it's the tropical punch um, I got the strawberry and cream tic tacs and also the M&Ms so again little M&Ms and actually I think I might be like two items shy on his so I'm gonna have to get like two other little things um for his to make it even not that they're sitting there counting it but I like to make it even if I can um but <laughs> that is what I put in his little basket and I also got him a card that's for Valentine's Day that I got at Walgreens that just says you know to my son and it has a cute little saying with like a shark on it so I thought it was really cute um for Chloe you can see her little hedgehog like again how adorable is that um, I got her the little pink rubber duck with the crown and it says you're the queen of hearts Valentine that is so cute anyways um, so I got her the Tic Tacs the um, baby bottle pop and the M&Ms just like I did Axel the things that I got different for her instead of getting her the trail mix she's more into fruity candy so I got this cherry strawberry and banana gummies candy so let me like pull this out so you guys can see it um but it's just these little gummy hearts and then also for her i got her a pack of these olive and june press on nails to try so that's what i'm wearing right now i've been trying out this brand and um these look really pretty and they're red so i thought maybe she might like that she loves the masks that are like the peel off mask. She doesn't like the sheet mask. So I was able to find these two masks and one says strawberry peel off mask and one says cookies and cream. So I thought that was super cute. So like I said, she has the face mask and she has the nails. Um, so I'm gonna put some other little something in his, but I'm also gonna go ahead and put these little candies in it. I also got her a card um, that says to my daughter and then it has, you know, a cute little saying for Valentine's as well. So. Um, I got those cards really cheap over at Walgreens, so they had the four off two digital coupons that made it like about 99 cents a card, um, so like since these Hallmark cards, and I thought that was a good deal. So there they are with the little Kinder candy in them as well. Um, and like I said, these baskets, it didn't cost me a lot to make. The most expensive thing that I put in it was the little hedgehog, but you could get a super cute stuffed animal anywhere to put in it if you wanted to put something like that in the basket. But I just thought it was cute, you know, kind of inexpensive, but also something that they're going to be super excited when they see it on Valentine's morning. So another thing that I like to do on Valentine's Day, if you guys didn't see my Valentine's video last year, I actually made little hearts for their doors. You can use like paper cutout hearts or you can even buy the heart shapes like at the Dollar Tree and then you can just write on them so on each of the hearts I just wrote different things about them like I love your smile you're so handsome you're so beautiful um, your singing is beautiful you're an amazing actress like different things and if you're not familiar with my channel or you haven't seen it before my son he is eight years old and my daughter is 14 years old um, 
um, Paulo is uh, two years old. <laughs> um, but basically, um, I like to do just different little goodies for them. Gift giving, I feel like, is one of my love languages. Like, I don't know, is that a love language? Gift giving? Anyways, um, <laughs> I love to do gift giving. I love making little baskets and things like that. So I just, I love doing this stuff. I enjoy it and I think that it makes them feel super special and another thing you can do is like make like little heart shaped like waffles or you know things like that. If you don't have time to make breakfast in the morning don't feel bad about it. I mean it is what it is you know grab something on the go but anyways so those are just a few little ideas for Valentine's. All right, y'all, so like I said, I know not the best angle, but this is another new outfit that I got from Target the other day, and I've gotten several compliments on it since I got it, so I just wanna show you guys and tell you a little bit about it just in case you like the outfit. Um, so first, I got this black top from Target. I feel like it's a really good one because you can pair it up with just about anything. In my opinion, black matches pretty much everything. Um, so this top at Target is $16. I've seen some people compare it to the Skims clothing line. I personally don't really feel like it's like the Skims. I've had a couple of Skims products and they're a little softer, but these right here, I mean, I feel like it's a stretchy material. I like the material. It was $16. I got a size small and the brand is Wild Fable. They have black, brown, white and hot pink that I saw. So I was tempted to get a couple of them, but I got the black because I feel like that's something that I wear the most. And then I got these cargo pants, which I really like as well. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to see them and I'll, I'll do like a full body like screen here in a second. Um, but I really like this outfit together and I paired up with some black vans and I thought it looked super cute. Um, if you're interested in the pants, again, it's the Wild Fable brand. They're $30. They're just an extra small and this is the dark green color. Um, this one is called a high rise cargo pants. So again, I got the extra small and it's a 31 inch seam, but I love them. I think they're so cute. All right guys, so I'm gonna turn the camera like this so you can kind of get more of the full, full outfit. But yeah, I, I think it's super cute. I really like it. Um, Chloe, she is pretty, I would say, um, good with fashion. And when she saw my outfit, she was like, oh my gosh, mom, that's such a cute outfit. I want to borrow that. <laughs> so, um, teenager approved apparently, but anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Um, definitely one of my favorite new outfits and I just paired it up with my necklaces that I already have, like the little, um, moon and star and then got all my new bracelets. So I know it's not really swimsuit season yet, but let me know what you think of this swimsuit. The brand on this is Shade and Shore. I got these small four to six bottoms and then I got the 32B top. Um, the bottom was like $18, I think. Yeah, $18 and the top is $25. So let me show you kind of up close. The top, I thought it's pretty cute. The bottom is kind of like ruffly and then the back it is kind of like the ruffles and like the scrunched up bottom. So let me know what you think of this. Should I keep it? Should I return it? So last year I did one swimsuit haul and you guys seemed to like it pretty well and you wanted me to do some more. So let me know now if you would like me to do some swimsuit hauls again this year. Um, I will definitely look around and see what I can find, but this is the only one that I've bought so far, like I said, from Target, but I just wanted to show you guys and get your opinion on it. Should I return it? Should I keep it? All of that good stuff. So that's what I have for you guys today. I know it was a little bit of everything type video, but sometimes I feel like, you know, I just want to share some different things with you guys, even if it doesn't have an exact purpose. It's like, hey, this is what I got at the store today. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, definitely hit that red subscribe button below. It's completely free to do so and hit the notification bell so that way you know anytime I post a new video. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.